Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune Community. I'm your host Ben and we're going to continue on with our deep dive into the Cosmos ecosystem and we're going to talk more detail about the Kepler wallet and what I am staking and how I'm using this staking in the Kepler wallet within the Cosmos ecosystem with multiple coins to make it a cash flowing asset. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more crypto content like this that's going to give you some ideas of how to make some money and build some wealth. If you don't have the Kepler wallet, the link will be in the description below. But let's go ahead and dive in. This is a extension wallet. Once you've downloaded and installed it, it will be up here. And you see right now it's showing I have a total balance of $134. But that's because most of this is staked and we just have some rewards pending so this is a very wall easy wallet to use but it can you can open it up just by going to stake and there we go so you can see right now i have total four atoms staked between these two different nodes which stake fish sg1 and why do i why did i pick two different ones because when you're staking there are risk of course there are risks with all investments that's why you always do your own due diligence and research before you do any investing the risk with nodes are if they mess something up they could lose a bit of money or all of the money so stakefish currently is holding almost 10 million atom that's a lot of money for them to lose so i would say they are probably a pretty good company to stake with you can find them with multiple coins they've got billions probably a lot of these ones with that much voting power that much atom or whatever the coin is you're looking at you're probably not going to have to be too concerned about something happening but just in case it's still better to spread it out you can put it in two different ones so if something was to happen with steak fish i wouldn't lose all my money because sg1 would still be going strong so that's what i do just kind of split it between a few you can split it between three if you wanted to two seems to be enough for me for now if i start building maybe a third position if i add some more atom in that these positions start getting a little too big where i don't want to risk it well i can just delegate to another node so it's very easy to claim once you have staked. So you can see right there, claim reward. I've almost got 0.2 of an atom, so nothing really there to claim. So I'm going to continue to stake it. It doesn't get a whole lot of interest, about 10 to 11%. When you delegate to these nodes, you're going to pay their fees. Stake fish, it's taking about 4% commissions. SG, I think, is, okay, so they went up to 1%. Originally, they were 0%. Now they're up to 1%. I don't mind that. So I got a nice little even split there, 5% in commissions across both nodes. So making about 6% in Atom. Now Atom by itself with that little bit of interest may not sound like a money maker, but a lot of times new projects that are built in the Cosmos ecosystem will do airdrops to Atom stakers. So on top of that 6% interest, if you catch any airdrops, you could be catching you know, a new coin like Persistence that has ran quite a bit. So I'll probably always be staking at them. And I'll continue to add to this position slowly. But I'm more building up on some of these smaller cryptos that you can stake in the Cosmos ecosystem, like Akash. So we go to Akash here. You can see I have 73 of those staked. And I have it across four different nodes. Now all these, of course, are going to be lower commissions. But I'm going to go ahead and claim this 1.68 reward. So we just hit claim. And you can see the fee right there to claim your rewards for staking. Ha! Huh, three cents. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that. And then it should add right here in our available balance as soon as that is done. There we go. So now I've got 2.48. Still saying claim reward, but you can see it's there. So, so I'm going to take that 2.48. And we're going to add it to this 4.2 Kava Labs. I only have 4.2 in here, so we'll, let's add these and stake these here. So just go to Manage Your Node, and we can go to Delegate. So anytime you stake with a lot of the Cosmos ecosystems, the staking is 21 days uh, for lockup, 21 days for it to unlock. So you're not really looking to ever take this money out, or at least I'm not. I'm just going to continue to delegate, and I'll tell you why here shortly 
but let's go ahead and add that max 2.48 there. We'll have to leave a little bit for fees, but we'll just do 2.4 for now. And delegate. Of course, you can get a little sign there. Approve one cent to delegate. So this took me four cents so far to un to claim these rewards and stake them. So you see there, Kava Labs up to six AKT. So I've got all four of these going. They're, they're already, you can see some of them. Look at that, how fast they start earning rewards. So I don't have like a ton of money in all of this. I don't have the millions or anything. And I wouldn't want to start with millions even if I had the millions in something newer like this. But I do want to start. So I've put, you know, a decent amount of money in here. And the reason is to compound until these positions turn into cash flowing assets. So that's why I say I never plan on taking them out. I want to continue to build them so when I claim rewards eventually, I can claim them every month and just pull out a lump sum of cash or crypto. So in this case, once my AKT positions build big enough, I'll just be able to come in here at the end of the month, press claim, move that over, send it, send it from the Kepler wallet to my Coinbase, and then I could switch it to USDC and spend it straight off of my Coinbase Visa card if I wanted to. Either way, there's multiple ways to pull the money out of here, but the whole plan here is to continue to stake, continue to buy little bits of positions here and there and add, and continue to put the rewards back into the staking. So it's continually compounding, continually building, and you can do this really fast with cryptos. Stocks is a little bit harder because there's very few stocks that pay monthly dividends. But with cryptos, you could do this monthly. You could do it weekly. It just depends on how much you're building up with. So, I mean, you can do this as much as you want. But because you're paying that, there is that little tiny cent fee. You probably don't want to do it with every little bit of amount. Because if you do that, that fee will add up and eat up some of your coins. Especially on cheaper ones like Iris and Sentinel, which we'll get into. So I'm gonna let persistence continue to ride. And like I said, I do this a couple of times a month where I check and see if there's any that are ready to be invested back in. So, okay, DP in here, we got, looks like 112. So we'll claim those. See, less than a penny there. And they're claiming, and it should pop up there in the available balance here in just a second. And there we go, you can see the 112 DVP in the available balance. Now we're gonna delegate those. And we'll put this one in the Cosmo Station. Well, actually, let me see. North Cap and Stake Fish, 4%. Cosmo Station is down 5%. And North Cap's 2.5. So actually, we're going to add it to the North Cap one because that one gains me a little bit more. So then we do the same thing. We do the delegate. And we're just going to put another 112 there. Delegate. Prove. Less than a penny. Now we've got those rewards staking in there. So 112 DVPN is not that much. Sentinel's only three cents, so it's about three bucks. But just so far with my little investment, you can see where it's cash flowing every month a little bit at a time. And as I continue to put them back in there, like I was saying with the compounding, that will continue to build it until we get a nice cash flow where we can actually pull it out. Like a nice, decent amount of money, you know, like a thousand, two thousand a month, something where this can be a passive income cash flow because you really don't have to do much once you've invested and you've got the money in the staking you're just sitting back and collecting your ward so it is a passive cash flowing asset which is what we look for as entrepreneurs so other than that those are the only ones that i'm staking right at the moment building this kepler wallet as an asset the sentinel persistence i think i may have some regen let's check and see no no regen iris akash and cosmos now i do plan on probably adding some osmosis soon and start building a position there but you can see how easy this is to use and of course if you need to swap some coins out so if you're bringing the cosmos into the kepler wallet and you and you want to change it into dvp and a persistence of any of that well, you can go to gravity decks or you can also go to the osmosis ecosystem but when you come here and you've got your Kepler wallet, you just press connect, bam, boom, we're done. And now see this shows actually how much money I do have invested so far that is building up in that Kepler wallet. So total balance of 664, which is including those rewards that I've now just put in there. So once you connect, you've got the Cosmos there and you can find Osmosis, uh, Cosmos Hub, Persistence, 
AKT, Regen, Sentinel, Iris, Crow, which is Crypto.com, Ion, which is a Cosmos hub, and IXO, which is Cosmos hub. And then another new one they've got out I need to look into, which is NGM Cosmos hub. And you can see this Gravity Dex is very cheap, 17 cents. So to move your money to your Kepler wallet, Depending on what you're using, it shouldn't cost too much because it should move from Cosmos to Cosmos. It's not moving across Ethereum or any other expensive blockchains with high gas fees. That shouldn't cost too much. And then you see all the staking and claiming the rewards and the swap here. You're talking about pennies and fees. So not a big deal when you're just trying to build this, when you're trying to build one of these wallets full of assets that's going to cash flow for you because that is the name of the game that's the whole point of what we want to do is turn this kepler wallet into a cash flowing asset and you can stake crypto.org with the kepler wallet as well which is crow so that's it for this deep dive into the kepler wallet and how i'm using it to start cash flowing every single month or every single week I mean really anytime you want to claim the rewards you can but like I said I'm doing it monthly because that just makes the most sense to me for my situation feel free to take this idea and do with it what you will if you haven't yet go check out frameworkfortune.com sign up with your email it is free appreciate everybody joining us always stay safe out there till next time